Jodiet here with Jodiet Designs, and I have a mission to help women delight in the Word of God because the Word is so powerful. It has the power to transform your life. And so one of the ways that I love to delight in the Word myself is with scripture writing. And so like you see I've done here, I have written uh, this scripture on a little uh, note card, and this is a I like to call them journal cards that has a pre-printed uh, patterned border on it. And so those are available in my shop at jodiet.com shop. So if you notice here, I have used three different hand lettering styles or fonts. And so what I'm going to do today is show you these three simple hand lettering styles that you can use for your scripture writing. And um, what I like to do is use a very simple or basic style for most of the wording and then a couple of words that I want to highlight. I will do them a different style and also maybe a different color like here. And then the main word or the focus I want, I will do it in a third uh, style. And so let's start out with this first basic style and what I call it is a modified all caps or a mix it, because it's a mixture of capital letters and small letters. And so I was looking, uh, thinking about doing this teaching and thinking about now which letters uh, do I make capital and which ones do I use the lowercase letters. And so what I figured out just from and I, I didn't really have a system, um, but actually I think what it is is pretty much all the vowels are going to be lowercase and the consonants are capital letters. So let me show you here and let's write uh, one of my favorite scriptures here, which is delight in the Lord. And so um, actually I would do delight in the uh, this second um, style here. So I'm going to skip that right there and then I'm just going to put in the over here or I might just put it put it below. So I'll put delight on the first line and then I'm just going to put in and the so we're doing capitals and then the vowels will be lowercase but they will be the same height as the capital letters. So we're going to put delight in the Lord, and I will probably do Lord in this uh, style here. And, and he will give you the desires of your heart. So we could leave a space for Lord and then put um, and he. And see how that, um, it just makes it fun to, to kind of mix stuff up a little bit and where you've got the lowercase and the capital letters, but they're all the same size. Um, it's easier to kind of, you know, block out, you know, and make room and it just kind of looks neater that they're all the same, all the letters are the same size. So you can kind of fit stuff in there better. So that is the first style just super simple, super easy, um, but I use it a lot in my scripture writing. Okay, the second one is just a basic, a simple cursive style, and I'm not doing any slanting here. If you'll notice, my letters are pretty straight up and down, and sometimes at the beginning I will put an extra little swoosh, but you don't even have to do that. So, for instance, on this one, Delight in the Lord, um, I would do, of course, it's the beginning of the sentence, so I've got to do a capital. And then just your basic, you know, and do them just straight up and down. The only thing you want to uh, pay attention to here is you would like to have all of your lowercase letters um, that are the 
mid height to be the same and then of course your uh, baseline should be the same and then these are actually not but um, ideally they would be the same height so delight in the Lord and he will uh, so you could put you know another word using that style down here later in the verse and then the third style is this one here that I use for for light I don't know if you can see that well because it's in yellow a sparkly yellow but basically it is capital letters but it's fatter just on one side so I'm going to write the word Lord right here so the L so basically you're just writing your capital letter but then you're adding um, a rectangle at the beginning of it now a O is a circle not a rectangle so what we'll do with that is we'll just add a little part like that and then R I'm going to go ahead and make the block here and then do the rest of the letter and the same with the D and ideally you want the width of all of these to be about the same and sometimes I'll leave it like that um, sometimes I'll come back in here in the blocks and do a color just um, color in with a marker or a colored pencil um, or I might do like I did here and just put some stripes in there so that just kind of dresses as it dress it as dresses it up a little more and I don't measure or whatever try to keep them fairly even but this is not a something that I drew try to do make it everything perfect my goal here is to meditate on the word to interact and engage with it um, and hide it in my heart and I find that as I'm doing this lettering and making it fun by using different letters and making it pretty that helps me to remember it hide it in my heart and I can like close my eyes and picture how I've written it here so see how that looks and then you could also even after you've put in the stripes go back in with the color and color those blocks in so those are three simple styles that I use a lot in my scripture writing to just make it a little more fancy a little more pretty than just my regular handwriting but it's not hard not hard at all they're very uh, simple styles and so try that in your scripture writing and if you would like a plan for your scripture writing every month I do I host a delight in the word challenge and I give you a plan for scriptures for the month for us to read and write and pray and just delight in however you want whether it's scripture writing or Bible journaling or uh, coloring or whatever so if you'll go to my website jodiet.com and you can search for delight in the word challenges and I've got blog, blog posts for each new one coming up each month and also have the delight in the word club which offers uh, printables like these journal cards, coloring pages, different things to help you delight in the word, as well as you can get some of these in my shop at jodit.com. You can also sign up to get a few free pretty printables and coloring pages and things to help you delight in the word at jodit.com slash joy. So be sure to go there and uh, delight yourself in the Lord and God will give you the desires of your heart.